I shall raise up for myself a faithful priest who will act in accord with my heart and my mind, says the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today, on this Wednesday of the 32nd week of Ordinary Time, this Mass is celebrated for the eternal rest of Joe Davalos. It is the mo memorial of St. Martin of Tours, Bishop. We ask God to forgive our sins and our brothers and sisters to pardon us also. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, Make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord of God is upon me because the Lord, he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners. To announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God to comfort all who mourn, to place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes, to give them an oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever, Forever I, I will, will sing, sing the goodness of the, of the Lord. Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever in heaven. You have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, forever. Will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne through all generations? Forever, Forever I will sing, sing the, goodness the goodness of the Lord. Lord. I have found David my servant with my ho I have found David my servant with my holy oil. I have anointed him that my hand may always be upon him and that my arm may make him strong forever, forever i will sing, sing the, the goodness, goodness of the lord my mercy and faithfulness shall be with him and through my name shall his horn be exalted he shall say to me you are my father my god the rock my savior forever, forever i will sing, sing the, the goodness, goodness of, of the lord. lord please stand alleluia alleluia Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. 
He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of mine, you did for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our Gospel today uh, comes to us from the fifth discourse of Matthew, that is to say the final discourse. Uh, and he's talking about the end times, uh, eschatological times, and he's talking in particular about judgment. And uh, the theme of it is that uh, the actions of our actions uh, and our mercy that we show to others are what are really important to God, especially to those who are most least unfortunate, downtrodden, uh, and marginalized. St. Martin of Tours uh, is known for one who focused on those who are downtrodden. He was a man of he was a man who had great heart. He showed, demonstrated great mercy and empathy. Uh, he was, uh, came from the region of Pannonia, which is in Hungary. His father was involved with the Roman Legion. He himself entered the Roman Legion at, in his teenage years. Uh, but he found himself uh, being called spiritually, uh, particularly to that of the Christians. Uh, the famous story goes that uh, there was a person who was a poor beggar and St. Martin Martin had pity on him and he gave him uh, he gave him half of his cloak uh, and uh, uh, that night in a dream Jesus came to him and said you he said blessed are you for I was that beggar of a man come follow me and with that this uh, desire to follow Christ was very strong and he struggled to get out of his uh, Roman legion obligations, but eventually he did after quite a bit of drama, and he found himself in northern Italy, and he became a a disciple of Saint Hilary, another wonderful, wonderful uh, saint uh, uh, in the uh, fourth century, and I should say this was occurring uh, in the time of it. It would have been in the uh, late fourth century, in the 360s, 370, 380 uh, time frame, uh, and so... Uh, and so he was, uh, he was uh, 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 a disciple. He uh, preferred monastic life, uh, and he preferred life in the community. But he was also uh, called and uh, appointed Bishop of Tours. Tours is in France. Uh, and there he was. And he was a very good bishop. He was a compassionate bishop. Uh, he uh, he, he, he uh, was known to be of someone who made peace. Uh, and he had a great struggles with his clergy, with the priests of his diocese. It seemed like there was always uh, troubles and such. And, and uh, he would go and make peace. And he would also seek to make peace with the various factions uh, uh, and, and, different, and different groups, if you will, pagan groups uh, too. And his, and his final portion of his life, he was, he was called to act as an arbiter between uh, members, uh, some folks in dispute, uh, and he went there and he made peace, and he died shortly thereafter. He died shortly thereafter, and uh, his readings uh, indicate uh, that uh, uh, he was there to do God's will. Uh, that is to say, he longed for heaven, but he did not despise earth either. He was willing to do whatever God wanted. Uh, he was willing to do uh, was willing to do on his deathbed wonderfully <laughs> he seemed uncomfortable and his uh, his uh, beloved beloved ones uh, wanted to put him on his side to be more comfortable he said no leave me on my back I want to see where I'm going so uh, he is known as Saint Martin of Tours and in uh, other languages known Saint Martin the Horseman San Martin Caballero uh, he is one who is known as a soldier uh, who turned of the Roman legion who turned into a soldier in the army of Christ. May we also have the great heart of the warrior Saint Martin of Tours. 
My brothers and sisters, let us bring our knees before our Lord as we trust in his goodness. We pray for, we pray for Pope Francis. We pray for leaders of the church. May Christ draw them ever closer to himself. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, that we may embrace our Christian values, that we may respect the Ten Commandments. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the unborn children. We pray that we may do an away with the laws of abortion and seek to protect life from the very young to the very aged. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are dying and who bear the burden of sickness. May they share in and know the love of Christ. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those gathered here, members of Our Lady of Guadalupe in South Hutchinson. May God grant them the grace to see his goodness and his image shine in others. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, you are generous. Hear our prayers. Answer us through Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us be seated now. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, O Lord, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin of Tours so that through them our life may be always directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brethren, you did it for me, says the Lord. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Come. God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the body of Christ. 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 Come. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and protect you from all evil. Amen. And the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by the sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin of Tours submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I'm so happy that our students are, have the ability to come back to uh, religion classes, and uh, we're just, we just pray that we are able to keep going, that we have uh, healthy students and healthy teachers. It's been a challenge this year. Great, great to have you. Uh, a reminder that uh, for our home viewers, uh, yes, we are glitchy at times. It's not known as a 101 Dalmatian show, but the 101 Technical Glitches Mass show. And uh, so we're working on it, uh, and uh, we've had an inordinate amount of sound issues in the past several weeks, so 
we'll see if we can get that resolved. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. <laughs>